So I've been using Cursor for quite a while now. It's an AI powered editor and it's a really, really powerful tool. Uh, and there's a subset of people who are using Cursor to build web games. And they're specifically building these games using a library called free.js. And some of the things that they built are like incredible. People built flight simulators and stuff like that. And they've often built these without writing a single line of code. So I thought I'd see what all of the fuss is about and try to build my own game. So in this video, I'm going to go through step by step how I built this game. Because one thing I hate is when someone tells you they built something using AI tools, but they don't tell you like how they built it. So I'm going to be as upfront as I can uh, so that you can learn from my experience and give you some tips and tricks for making your own game. Also, on the flip side of that, if you've got any tips for me, please do leave them down in the comment section. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So before I started working, obviously I needed to think of an idea for a game that I could build. And I wanted to build like a driving game just because it is something which I do like enjoy because uh, it is one of the only times in my life where I'm free from any kind of distraction really um, because it's not like I can just open my phone and start scrolling at least I hope not anyway so yeah I'm aiming to build a UK motorway driving simulator so once I had that idea finalized before I, I could start making cursor write any code for me I then needed to make something called a PRD and this is basically just like a detailed plan of what I want to achieve. And this is actually a really important step because if I was just open cursor and just start writing code and not let it have like any context of what I'm building, the outcome probably wouldn't be that good. So in order to create this PRD, I found this prompt and I entered it into ChatGPT and it basically just tells ChatGPT to act like a product manager. Um, so it asked me what I wanted and this is what I entered. I won't read it out, but I'll put it on the screen so you can pause it and read through it if you want to. And then based on that, it then asked me to like elaborate on certain features, but then finally it handed me back my finished PRD. So once I had this PRD from ChatGPT, I then pasted it into Cursor and just said, can you make a start on implementing this game? It then started by making the package.json file and installing all, all of the dependencies. So obviously that's things like FreeJS because we're going to be using that library. Um, and then once it had done that, it then started to make all of the files and folders which we, which we need, you know, just starting to get together the basic sort of structure. Now, one thing I learned fairly on when using Cursor is if you go in, into the Cursor settings menu, you want to turn on a feature called Auto Run. Now, what Auto Run does is it basically like lets Cursor make, make make files and folders for you. Whereas if it wasn't on, then Cursor would have to ask you like every time. Which at the start of a project, when you when you have to make like a lot of files, it just makes life easier for you, really. If you haven't done so, I recommend that you turn this on. So here is the output of the first prompt. Obviously, it's quite far from what we want, but at least we have a basic car, which I can control. So at the end of the first prompt, Cursor gave us four things we could work on next. So I just asked it to work on the first thing. So please, can you start working on the detailed car models and textures next? And this was the output of that prompt. I'm not sure why the car is like really dark. Um, so I asked it to fix that and here's how it looks now. So yeah, I was actually pretty impressed at this point because we now have a car which actually looks like a car. It has, it has windows, doors, even has headlights. So now I was happy with how the car was looking. Okay, it's not the best looking car ever, but I'm sure we can work on that a little bit later. So I next asked Cursor to start working on the actual motorway. And here's how the game looked after I asked Cursor to start working on the motorway. Once again, I was I was impressed. Um, the only issue really, as you can see, is that, is that for some reason it is really dark. Uh, so that's the first thing which I wanna fix. But other than that, it's looking actually pretty good. 
The next prompt I then entered was, this is great, but the environment is very dark. Please, can we add some lights to the street lights and perhaps add a, and perhaps add, and perhaps add a moon in the sky? It added the street lights, as you can see, but once again, these didn't really help. Um, and it just couldn't seem to work out like how to add a moon. So I, I just kept saying to it, like, please, can you make it brighter? And I kept asking it, and I kept asking it. And then I was just getting pretty frustrated, so I was like, just make the game really, really bright. And then here's what I got. So I was like, great, now you've taken it a bit too far. So I, was, I, so I said to it, okay, I can see stuff now, but can you just make it like a little bit darker? And then it just went back to how, how it was previously. So I was like, great, I'm not really sure like, what to do now. So as you can see, I was starting to get stuck in a loop. And when that happens, I've heard the best thing is to just start again, which is exactly what I did. So I went and made a new PRD. But this time, I specifically asked it to implement a good lighting system. So after I took this new PRD and put it into cursor, this is what I had. So as you can see, it's a lot better. I can, I can actually see what's happening. And, and one of the good things about this is it actually works through a full 24 hour cycle from morning, noon, afternoon, evening into nighttime. So I was really happy with this and this was a much better starting point to begin adding some more features. Also one pretty neat thing which happened was that Cursor, without me even asking it to, created an implementation plan, uh, which meant that from this point onwards, all I had to really do was just ask it to work on everything in the plan until we'd finished really. So over the course of the next few hours, I added added some more features onto the car, like working headlights and working indicators, which looked pretty cool. Then I added some overhead barriers. And then, then, then I wanted to add a way for the user to be able to upgrade their car. So I added like a shop interface. Um, and at that point, I kind of thought one good way that the user could earn money is just is is by just getting paid in the in-game currency for like every mile which they drove. Um, so I added that. Then after that, I just wanted to add some extra objects in the background. So I added some some fields, some hedgerows, uh, like hay bales. And then I was pretty much finished actually. So this is the final iteration of the game. So I've got some overhead barriers just explaining what it is. Um, plenty of things for the user to look at. So obviously this is not the best game ever made, but it does show what you can achieve without writing a single line of code. If you want to play the game, I'll put a link on the screen now. Please do feel free to check out. I'm going to keep working on it and keep adding more features over time. So that brings me to the end of the video, really. So it's definitely quite an interesting experience. It definitely makes me fearful for my jobs long term because these AO tools are going to just keep getting better and better. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know if you want to see if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching again, and see you in the next one.